Thank you, Chairman. I have nothing to disclose. So the one of the uh, medical unmet needs for the treatment of rats is for symptomatic, symptomatic patients who have small benign prosthetic hyperplasia. Uh, this time defined prosthetic volume less than 40 and are treated with alpha one blocker. So EAU guideline uh, may rat show that the, uh, such patients are recommended to use uh, muscarinic receptor antagonist or beta-3 agonist for residual storage symptoms. But sometimes it's difficult to use due to the side effects, or uh, if such a patient are suffering from the voiding symptoms, we don't have any good choice. So, uh, so we aimed to investigate the add-on effects of Tadalafil for such patient. So key inclusion criteria is a uh, uh, prostatic volume 20 to 40 milliliters, and uh, total IPSS at least eight and IPSS QL at least three after treatment of, treatment of tamoxifen. The key exclusion, uh, exclusion criteria currently taking dutasteride or anticholinergics. So study designs, uh, patients with tamoxifen at four, at least four weeks are randomized into two groups. One is tamoxifen plus uh, tadalafil followed by tamoxifen plus placebo. The other is tamoxifen plus placebo followed by tamoxifen plus tadalafil. Uh, the primary endpoint, the change in total IPSS from baseline in crossover treatment with tadalafil and placebo for six weeks each. And secondary endpoints, uh, the questionnaires including all ABSS and IIF5, and the findings of urophorometry and items in bladder diary and the safety and adverse events. The patient characteristics the total is uh, uh, 26 uh, patients, and the total IPSS uh, median is 16.5. Here is the result, the change in total IPSS. So, so the, this graph uh, started with uh, Tadalafil followed by a placebo. Uh, this group started with placebo and followed by a Tadalafil. Uh, this is a primary end point. So change in to IPSS total score from baseline. There is a significant difference between Tadalafil and the placebo group. The secondary end point is the only uh, subscore of IPSS, only item three intermittency, there is a significant difference. Other secondary end points are OABSS, Q marks, residual urines, and no significant difference, and the IAF score, and the item of blood diary, for example, avoided volume or nocturnal polio index, there's no significant difference. And no adverse events are reported. Uh, conclusions. The one of Tadafil in sympathetic patients with small BPH treated with Tamoxifen is considered to be an effective and safe treatment for residual rats. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, any questions for this presentation? There is. Adrian. Uh, hi, I'm Adrian Wagg from Edmonton, right at the top. Hello. Um, what was your required sample size for your primary endpoint? I required a size of 3D3. <laughs> 33, 33 is a primary, I calculated, but it's not related to the uh, number. Right, so, so yeah, it's a bit underpowered. Underpowered, yeah. okay. Uh, in Japan, you use point, uh, point 0.2 milligrams of tamsulosin. Uh, here in the West, we're using point 0.4. Do you think if we will do the same study here in the West, we'll have the same results? Uh, maybe in Japan, so only uh, 0 0.2 milligram is uh, accepted. Yes, but I think that tamoxifen and uh, uh, tadalafil is a uh, different mechanism. So I think it's better to uh, combination is better than the add to the tamoxifen uh, to the more 0 0.2 milligram. I think I believe so. There's another question out there. Yeah, um, Bill Gibson from Edmonton up here again. Can you tell us how you measured the prostate size? Did you use a MRI or just guessing? Uh, prostate, uh, prostate size, just ultrasound, trans, uh, uh, abdominal, ultrasound. I have another question. Um, could you reflect on the clinical relevance of the difference you showed between the two groups? Uh, I mean, it's statistical significant, but could you mention if it's clinically relevant? 
Yeah, so that's a, yeah, I think, uh, I think so, but the, uh, in the clinical trial of Tadalafil vs. placebo, uh, for the Asian people, the difference is minus 1.5. They are similar with this result. And also the uh, clinical significance, if we define the uh, IPS improvement by 25% uh, uh, decrease, uh, this time it's the, uh, uh, almost 40% has achieved. Yeah, it's in, in percentage, it sounds, sounds big, but uh, uh, the difference between placebo and, and active treatment is about 1.5 points on the IPSS. And to acknowledge that three points difference is considered clinically relevant, but you may debate on that as well, because uh, a man hardly recognize uh, a change of three points. Yeah, the so subjective improvement. Yeah, so improvement. of course, the uh, effect of the Tadarif here is, uh, I, think, I think the effect of the Tadarif here is uh, adding the placebo effect, but if the patient uh, suffered from the uh, voiding symptoms at uh, 3.5 uh, points, I think it's, uh, acceptable for the add-on effect. Okay, and a, a final remark, I would be reluctant to con conclude something about safety if you have a small study. Yeah. Uh, yes. Safety yes, doesn't yes. come from these kind of study. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.